financial gain involved, especially if these lessons involve contracts. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Definitely appreciate all of you tuning in with us today. Uh, if you would like your own personal readings to understand me, my channel, Tarot, check out my products and services. In the description box, there is a link to the Etsy store. All of my contact information, you can follow me online at iBuns through Twitter and Instagram. All of my returners, you are appreciated and adored. All of the support that you show me and each other is just beautiful. Make sure you check the community board as that's where most of my updates, alerts, and events will be posted. We'll go ahead and get started with your reading today, guys. I did set the intention on love. However, when I shuffle the cards, because I like to do an introduction, these came out and the 999 stuck out, stuck out significantly. So I didn't know if we were going to be talking about love. So I, because I'm very diligent in delivering accurate messages, I studied those numbers for a second. And in studying it, I saw a section specifically for love matters. So it all made sense. All right. So if you're watching this video today, you may be seeing the numbers 999. You could have somebody you're hoping, wishing, dreaming for or Aquarius somewhere in your chart. Okay. Could be dealing with the love matter that may not be easy necessarily. Could be dealing with a soulmate kind of situation. Could have dealt with some sadness and we'll talk about that. Okay. But I like to do the intro, which is this. We will have the tarot style Celtic cross spread. And I saved the clarifiers and the pick a card for my members. So if you're interested here on YouTube, click join. We have a membership section for love, finances, and life purpose. And this is love, even though I thought it to be kind of like life purposey. However, we are going to go ahead and get started. Just wanted to throw that out there if you're interested in clicking join here on YouTube. Okay. Now, the first card you have out is the star. I thought about hopes, wishes, dreams. I thought about Aquarius. I thought about the reading that I did for Aquarius moon. I thought about like the apple of somebody's eye. So it could be you, you know, kind of having this googly eye for somebody or it just talks about the water barrier so emotions could even talk about the age that we live in your specific lifeline path line this life we'll go over to the nines okay the nine of pentacles the nine of cups the nine of swords neither of those cards say marry me love me okay the Nine of Pentacles is usually a single woman. <laughs> the Nine of Cups is a content, emotionally male. So if this is like divine feminine and masculine, this is like independence financially. All right. Using logic, it also talks about a release of some sort. So one of, or both of you could be going through karmic cycles. And then with the Nine of Cups, I feel this is overcoming addictions, fears, codependencies, and there's some level of contentment, happiness, wish fulfillment. Now, for some of you, there is wish fulfillment. There is some type of raise in, if not pay, just a release from burden. And then with the Nine of Swords, this is that Queen of Swords type of energy. And because of all of these swords here, I feel like this just tells me mentally you've kind of been back and forth. Uh, about this particular situation or many loves. Now, 999 as numerology talks about the number nine, which is a very spiritual number, and it talks about an ending. Something ends so that something new can begin. Okay, so you being released from something, and I feel like it was a lot of lessons so that you could get to this wish fulfillment. Okay, and I feel like the challenging aspect for some of you is this ability to go in between, to be in between. Um, it also talks about someone who's very persistent in love, you know, so you could be working really diligently um, in your love life and others may not match your drive. 
okay? When I look at the Father of Wands with the High Priestess, this still gives me a feeling of disconnect because this doesn't say committed love affair. And this is someone else's husband and a mistress. Linking up, starting trouble. Okay. But like I said, when it comes to numerology 999 and it talks about persistence and your ability to not lose quality throughout each level of these endings. Okay. I think I'm getting it right. Now for your homework... You guys could look into the number 999, but I do like it because I have heard so many people say that, you know, this is my last life lying here. I'm not coming back. Um, this is the last time that you have that trauma bond, that devil card, the two in separation that never really get to each other. There's something said about that if you're into the whole story of like twin flames or whatnot where something has come in between you guys, like Snow White and Charming, many times, okay? I'll always find you, but there's always a but. And for me, 99 talks about the ending of those situations, whereas 999 is more of a complete, total shift, okay? Now, over here, we have the Five of Cups, we have the Page of Swords, and we have the Seven of Swords. So, of course, I associated this with a missed opportunity. Not so much of sadness. But this card is also associated with Aquarius Moon. The Daughter of Swords reminds me of the little owl that sits on the tip of the Wheel of Fortune and or the Judgment card. So, Archangel Gabriel, where it talks about record keeping, observation, or noticing something. And then the Seven of Swords talks about not noticing it at all, even though it is hidden in plain sight. Okay? Now, I feel like a star shines in darkness, which tells me something is very fucking painfully obvious. Right? Because you got a star, you got bright light in darkness. So, kind of like the moth being attracted to the, the, the bright glittery thingy right so for some of us that may have insecurities within self that may be a little bit intimidated and held back withheld you may be inspired by others who have something within them that you feel you don't have because it's like where they have this nine of cups this happiness this contentment they seem well put together you right here feel like i don't necessarily have that but this is the outer experience. This is the inner experience. And so you may just not see what they go through. And maybe you admire the way that they, you, you know, hold it together because you don't see it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Strong emphasis. I didn't ask for this, but it's beautiful. So strong emphasis on the 999. Strong emphasis on endings strong emphasis on new beginnings perseverance and then like i have here with this high priestess for some of you i honestly feel like somebody working like a dog to like impress this high priestess here but she's kind of like i'm bothered and the high priestess in a love relationship is like an unobtainable kind of person also, I'm looking at her level of contentment and her expectations where she sees something coming and probably accepts it. So this is kind of like the higher self seeing this serpent here, knowing what is coming and making a choice, okay, to kind of play with it and go back and forth with it. To kind of accept it and be content with it. Or to steer clear of it. And see, this is kind of like I feel her or his energy with this nine of pentacles and this like single, singular, you know, kind of energy where maybe someone is single because of this. 
and this high priestess would just talk about this super super evolved person and here's this super super not evolved person and and here is how one or both of you kind of missed this opportunity now also i did put together we have six swords which is moving away from chaos and it talks about guidance which is archangel raphael and since i mentioned archangel gabriel the judgment card could be all around us here which also talks about endings okay uh if i add a sword with the fox the fox is a teacher i think about the king of pentacles i think about him as a teacher or her and the daughter of swords as the student the answer the question you're missing it so okay something hidden in plain sight be more observant i'll charge it up give it a second be more observant and something about not accepting it. Now, the reason why I say that is because something great is coming your way in the matter of love. There is someone being groomed just for you. And as you are on your path, uh, stay busy. Find something to do that has something to do with your life purpose because this is where you meet this person. As you both focus on for, for some of you, your communities, um, it's kind of like you have been alone for a while or are going to be. Let me just throw that out there. And this isn't the end of love for you. Um, your life purpose, spirituality or whatever is not consuming you. You're being protected from some things that average everyday people have to go through because there are many numbers that show the ratio in relationships, marriages, happiness, divorces, breakups, suicide, commitment, the works. Those numbers don't look too good. Okay. And going through it could be somebody's life purpose. That's understandable. However, those of you that are guided by the celestial beings that have this help, you don't go through that. You see it coming and you've been kind of like put out of the way. Let's just say that. Okay. And as you are out of the way, it may be helpful for you to remain productive, to stay busy, to focus on your purpose, to do something that means something to you, to kind of take your mind off of whatever is lacking, okay? And if you're into the whole Tesla manifestation, that is one of Tesla's things too, where there's this acceptance, there's this not resisting, and blah, blah, blah. So you can look into that. And nine is a number included into Tesla's universal math, right? So I like it. Some of you guys stay busy. Okay. Stay busy and know that this is a confirmation from your guides, your ancestors, from source that I'm working on. And now I'm speaking for them or letting it speak through me. I'm working on it. You're being worked on. They're being worked on. Mostly them is being worked on. Um, for you to stay content, this is going to be a very loving relationship, a very platonic. Um, that could lead to more, of course, but you meet so mutually, you know, that it's going to be an experience that's worth waiting for. Uh, I almost forgot. When I saw the Seven Swords and then the Page of Swords, I thought of Eight of Swords. And this is like somebody meticulously missing something that they're looking for that brings about this sadness. Or when I think about the mental traps and I think about the, the Five of Cups, it's kind of like you mentally, what you see, what you think about is keeping you in an energy of sadness and that's a, there's a need to kind of release those burdens, okay, through meditation for a lot of you. And then it's like these five cups turn into nine cups. These eight swords could turn into nine swords where you move out of the mental traps and confusion. You know, so it's like going from depression to anxiety. But hey, you work through all of these levels of things and through working through that anxiety, you find contentment and then you release yourself from burdens. Okay. So that's the thing for some of you guys, this relationship is paused. You haven't come into union with this individual. I feel it has something to do with life cycles, 
life purpose, and also some human emotion. Okay? Now, I could kind of stop there and give the reading to my members, but I won't. But that's kind of dope. I still strongly encourage all of you guys because so much was left out. And I didn't know if I wanted to do a video specifically on 999 or if I just wanted to do my love reading and put the, that in there because I asked for a love reading for my collective, for my Pisces. Aquarius, Moon, Gemini, a lot of you guys, air signs, whatever, water signs. Um, some of you, there's a message to not be stuck in the past, to be patient, but also move forward. So get out of the past, move forward, and slowly is okay, you know? Slow and steady wins the race. And so we're going to go ahead and start the spread. Okay, I like the Ace of uh, Swords that came out with the Daughter of Wands. This is like stick by your truth and also setting healthy boundaries from bullshit. How you perceive information came out in the Daily Vibe also. And I just want, I do see the end of a battle. I like that. I want one card because they're all kind of just like flipping out. Okay, so here we have the High Priestess. I think that is a spiritual connection. I think this is like the star. Someone that you admire. Someone who admires you. Sitting back. Not saying anything. Having the answers. Trusting your intuition. But more, more so in the love reading. I think this is that unobtainable person. Or the one you feel that you've lost. The one that may not be moving forward because of losses. And I have the three of swords at the bottom of the deck with this entanglement so the high priestess on a lower level because see i think beyond bullshit but on a lower level the high priestess and the three of swords definitely is somebody who be caught up in situations okay others of you this is uh like relieving it's like two of swords kind of energy for me like releasing uh some bad bad connections that are a matter of love and intimacy because I, I take these cords, it's like I'm thinking about the heart and actually arteries and stuff, which kind of like wrap our muscles and our hearts together and shit. And so these swords are very dangerous for something so detrimental to this connection. Swords could be information. Swords could be the truth. Swords could be, I don't know, the things that stabbed you, honey, but we're going to see. Now, with the high priestess, or what's crossing this high priestess, outside of being content with what she don't got, yeah, because it's like, if I ain't content with it, I'm for to act a fool. You want me to plug it back up? Yes. Okay, I'll let you borrow mine. Hold on, guys. Christopher needs a charger, and I'm not editing these superly long Edit a video. I'm not. Okay, give me a second. It's gonna turn on in a minute. So yeah, this person is definitely not one who needs to act out or respond. <laughs> Cause that's seven of swords. I'm sorry, that's seven of wands. Uh now you got seventy seven. You got the seven of swords, the seven of wands. Could be true love. Could be. Or some somebody's holding on too tightly to something. And I feel like this is a process or a process of elimination. Um, you could be coming in contact or maybe having no contact. And this is their process of elimination. This definitely does talk about a block of some sort, pushback, resistance. And this is like a chill. Okay, for whatever it's worth. So we'll see if this is the person that you are away from. Um, or you. But let's see. In the center of the reading, what is the lesson behind your love life? Okay. That is something else. Here you go. Now, for some of you, I would recommend esoteric wisdom. 
I did look at the 50 universal laws or something like that this morning. So it's crazy. That's kind of coming up. And it's like, why do you mention that, Montana? Well, you got the seven of swords. Now you have the seven of wands and, and here are the seven of pentacles. So that's seven, seven, seven. And I feel like some of you guys may be getting lucky. For others of you, you are uh, somebody, honey, and that's the best way I can put that without getting too philosophical. But you are somebody, honey. And um, you're going through a thing that is very... Can I have a word? Give me a word. You're going through a thing that is very... <laughs> I don't want to say elite, but it's kind of like... You know, it's 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 necessary. It's unorthodox, and you are the sixth wand or the seventh wand. Whatever it is, it's like you are a little bit different from those around you. And also, some of you guys may have anger management issues, and it's like your guides have kind of pulled you out of romance for a minute to work on your chemistry, how you respond, how you react, what, you know what I'm saying? Some of you in that 999 get too wrapped up into the partner. And if you have this purpose that you're either looking for or um, already, you know, doing, it's like, I got to kind of get you here real quick to do some shit because if you was in love right now, you wouldn't be doing a goddamn thing. So, <laughs> so in the past, here's that daughter of wands coming back out. And this is some crazy shit. I love the daughter of wands, but the more I spend time with this card, there's that serpent. And I feel like this daughter of wands and this father of wands has a relationship where these wands, the action have a lot to do with something. Because first you have the the king of wands with the high priestess and then now you have the seven wands and we have the five wands in reverse so this is definitely telling me forward movement i feel toward the six of wands which i feel like is you being the star being seen you will be or someone else that you are admiring admiring at a distance that sees your light like it, this is kind of like you are amazing either you are amazing or the person is amazing and then somebody's even more amazing because that's what the, i get from the six of wands it's like amazing where this six wand stands out from the five wands you know up on a pedestal but then here's this seventh wand that looks like the tower and we have three wands here so something about the future too that's kind of cool. What's crowning you? I have the son of cups, honey. This is an offer that is very romantic. Not well thought out, but definitely from the heart. Okay. This is also a reason why a lot of us are in quarantine and things are going to kind of pick up afterwards. All right. For some of you guys... Someone could be a little bit shy about coming forward. Others of you, this has something to do with your life purpose and doing something that is heartfelt. So being a service to others, because like I said, you're being groomed through something because you get all caught up in people. Then you start acting all ignorant. And here is because of this loyalty and dedication, because I'm a real one, you know, or I've made an oath and past lives and this lives to love you forever and because you've done that you know here's the lesson of each time you deal with this individual sparks fly but not in a good way others of you because of your loyalty and dedication your service to others your ability to have overcome that energy or take action in certain areas of your life because these seven wands and this big ass tree can also be eight wands. And then if I add that, that's still nine wands. So nine wands does talk about triggers. Okay, you move forward, want to love somebody, they don't respond fast enough. It's a problem. Could be it too. Here, what's up with all the wands, man? <laughs> here, here we have the sign of wands. 
Okay, Sagittarian energy. Ace of Wands in reverse, lacking inspiration. And look at that Wheel of Fortune where I talked about that little bird, that page of uh, swords. Here, here he or she is that's been watching something. All these entanglements. Okay, and letting something loose. Now, I feel with the two knights here, okay, we got a page, we got two knights. I think I like it. I think I like it because the Son of Cups has this cup that's all light and blissful. The, the Daughter of Wands is optimism. The, the Son of Wands is adventure. And it's kind of like, have fun. Have fun, let go of the past, you know. This, the, the high priestess needs, you know, if she or he falls in love, it's going to be by accident. And if not by accident, by fate or by destiny. So let things happen, which also came up in the 999 uh, when I was studying it. Let things happen. Don't be frustrated with them not having fast enough. Don't be trying to make it happen. Don't have fear of the future and try to control things, King of Cups. Let things happen. Okay? So, with the Seven of Wands, <laughs> taking action toward, oh shit, now. Nah. I feel that your expectations, your admirations, what you find in others are things that you are dealing with within yourself. And I feel that for you to come closer in this union to your partner, it's like you need to be who you want. Whoever it is that you like, whatever it is that you like, there's a need for you to make sure you are that and that you match that. Okay. Now... We have been talking about the 23rd and this pole shift where we have Sagittarius here and then we have the earth here and then we have like an alignment here. So some of you guys could be meeting somebody very soon, but you fear being alone because this little page of cups in reverse is just saying that you may be blocking communication. Um... They may be blocking communication or this is blocking. This is not talking. This is not talking. Okay. So don't say shit. <laughs> that keeps coming up. Like somebody ain't saying shit or you don't need to say shit. In the center of the reading, we have this. Whoo, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Maybe coming up for somebody. We're going to take clarifiers in the extended hopes and fears. Somebody fears the worst. There is a self-sacrificing energy of putting yourself in danger. Because I, because they, because I, you know, unexpected danger. Okay. They came out of nowhere. I feel your memories are going to trigger you kind of like nostalgia. So some of you may be thinking about an ex or thinking about somebody you like or thinking about a past life. I feel that it gets better, but this is just for some of you. Past memories of you is important or of this person. And then let me get an outcome really quick. Because I got, I got the Father of Swords, <clears throat> I have the Ten of Cups, and the Son of Swords is unexpected danger. For some of you guys, it's like you attract, and I've said this to people where you kind of like attract this by who you are, who you were, what you carry, the your frequency. Okay, and it's kind of like stay away from miscommunications, unexpected bullshit, and mental fuckers by what somebody say. Okay, so somebody could be triggering you by what they say. Somebody could be triggered by something you said. All right. And um, 
outcome one more card this is interesting now for those of you that may have offers coming toward you look at that where something isn't being communicated on an emotional level there may be communication on like a thought you know so like for instance air signs are very logical water signs could be very emotional whereas earth signs like they say is kind of like you know wishy-washy in between or very grounded i don't know i try not to categorize people but this is like fantasy unrealistic and it being in reverse is saying shit's getting really real okay and then the daughter of swords is like watch it and she was watching before the seven of swords this is and where she had the seven of swords with her kind of like watching some bullshit unfold and this is like somebody else being trapped in it because of what they feel okay and that's kind of what they feel loyal to so ooh, this reminds me of some of those readings where it's like yo your twin flame or whoever your partner is they about to get some shit coming to them and don't you put yourself in it don't you respond don't you say shit don't you act out um and so i can't wait to see where this is going okay because i feel like whatever this block is is gonna be removed or because of the block something happens <laughs> and it's like maybe you miss it that's like somebody blocking you and you you know you probably would be talking to this person or dealing with this person but they don't block you or something and because of that, you miss something, but it's a good thing. Anywho, uh, we will continue this in our membership section. If this is where we leave off, definitely appreciate all of your love and support. Namaste.